guys, it's Kat. So I have been using some felt flowers in my layouts recently and I've had a couple of people ask me how I made them and where I got them, that sort of thing. And I made them out of felt using this dye. It's called the my favorite it's from my favorite things and it's called the hybrid camellia dye and it comes with these three pieces and I'm going to show you how to make one today so when you cut out the pieces that you need for the flower you're going to need two of these two of these and one of these okay let me put those aside so this is what you're going to have when you're finished cutting you're going to have all those pieces right there so you're also going to need some hot glue and you're going to start off with these pieces that look like pinwheels a little bit. Let me zoom in a little more. So the first thing you're going to do, you want to glue this piece on top of this piece but you want the flowers or the petals to alternate so it's going to look like that, okay? So just put a little dollop of glue in the middle and then glue your first piece on. Now when you're finished with this you want to pop each petal up above the other one. So you're going to kind of do this just to make sure that it looks like that. See how it's going around? Okay. So the next piece you're going to use are these two that look like bow ties and you're going to glue them like this. Like crisscross. Okay. So put a little dollop of glue on this piece and glue one on there and then put another little bit of glue and then you're going to glue this one the opposite way and then you're going to do the same thing you're going to pop the petals like that so now you've got a flower that looks like this next we need to work on the top of the flower the center and that is this little rolled piece and all you do is take a pair of tweezers and start rolling it. And so it's, it's really easy. If you want it to be a bigger flower, roll it loose. If you want it to be smaller, roll it tight. So I, at some point I just get rid of the tweezers and I just use my fingers because I'm just going around in a circle if you can see this. Okay, so when you get to the end, you're, it's going to look like this. See that little piece right there? And you're going to put some glue right there. To hold the flower together. And then just pop that little piece there and don't burn yourself. And then you come up with something like this. And I usually like kind of mush mine around until I get it the way I want it. And then put some glue on the top of the other piece and stick that one on there and voila you have your flower so that is how I made the flowers that I've been using on my layouts late, lately and they're not real dimensional see so you can use them on your scrapbook pages um, it's a really pretty flower I will leave a link to the flower dye in the description box for you guys and if you want to know where I got the felt I use um, my favorite things felt and I'll also link to their felt if you want um, in the description box. So if you have any questions, just let me know. And oh, the other flower that I made was using this dye. And this is just another my favorite things. It's called Rolled Rose. Yeah, Rolled Rose. And it's just another one of those rolled flowers. All you do is cut it and then roll it like we did this piece. So I'll link to both of them for you guys. And, um, yeah, like I said, if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, guys, thank you. Have a great day.